This week on the Computer Chronicles, TV PC Convergence. We'll show you a new video on demand service that comes right into your PC through a DSL phone line. This is the pseudo online TV network, 40 original TV shows available for viewing on your computer. Want to turn your PC into a complete video entertainment center? We'll show you how to do it with Pure Diva, a new interactive video software suite. And you soon won't be able to tell whether you're watching a network or surfing the net. We'll show you brand new software technology from Liberate. Also, my pick of the week, the personal television server. It's all coming up next on The Computer Chronicles. The Computer Chronicles is brought to you by rondiamond.com the oldies site on the internet. Music and memories from the 50s, 60s, and 70s, not just another jukebox. Additional support comes from the law offices of Ivan Hoffman, lawyering with integrity for internet law, copyright, trademark, and other intellectual property law. And by TechWeb for up-to-the-minute technology news. Hi, and welcome to the Computer Chronicles. I'm Stuart Chaffe. Well, you look at a computer monitor, then you look at a television screen, and they seem pretty much alike. One shows you a Word document or a spreadsheet. The other shows you a news show or a sitcom. But then again, if you're playing a game on your PC, you're watching video. If you're looking at Bloomberg on your TV, you're staring at words and numbers. It's all becoming the same. The TV and the PC are finally merging from a hardware and a software perspective. So let's begin with a new content service that doesn't really care which screen you're watching. It's called Entertainer, and this is Jonathan Kaplan, co-CEO of the company. Jonathan, what kind of connection do I need to watch your network? You need a broadband connection, either DSL or cable modem, although we're also delivering over cable set-top boxes. Okay, and you're doing this right now. People are actually watching Absolutely. Entertainer. yes. All right, what kinds of stuff can I see on Entertainer? Well, you can see movies, uh, music videos, television shows, whatever. And this is all basically video on demand, Absolutely. delivered through the wire into my and home. We're clicking on here. The smart agent has suggested I might like a movie called Starship Troopers. Now I can look at the, at the trailer for the movie. Right, so um, I'm deciding whether to actually to buy the movie exactly. from you. Exactly. I can come down here and get information. The parents can give the ratings level that kids can watch okay. at. So this is like renting the movie from the video rental store, except you're delivering it electronically exactly. through a pipe. Now I've decided I want to buy it. I have a 24-hour license to watch it as many times as I want for $3.95 for a first-run movie, mm -hmm. $1.95 for a regular movie, 25 cents for a television show. Okay, so it's comparable rates to the right. video I store. can pause it, I can fast-forward it, I can take it full screen anytime I want. When I finish, um, I can go on to other things. Like All right, so I can, I can get movies on Entertainer. And these are like the current movies? Absolutely, the okay. first-run pay-per-view movies. All right, what, what other kind, kinds of things could I watch Well, we can come down here to the music section and say go to the top 40. We have 400 videos, music videos playing at any one time. I can watch the. Oh, this is like MTV on demand. I can exactly. decide what video I want so, to watch. And these are all to. free. You can watch these as many times as you want. I can listen to three tracks of the, mm -hmm. uh, the album, and then I can buy the album. One click, just like Amazon. We've already all right, bought this the sort album. of MTV and Amazon together. Totally. I watch the music. I want to buy it. I don't have to go to the store. One click, and I bought exactly. that CD. You go farther, then you, you go, this is the living well section, which is about mm -hmm. lifestyle fashion. So if you're just grazing around, you may get a commercial every once in a while, every 10 minutes. And here's a commercial for DKNY. Now, but these are different. These are interactive commercials. So I have all the power of video with the targeting of the year. Um, so, so in other words, I'm watching this commercial and say, hey, I kind of like that jacket. I want to buy it. Then I click on it. Now I go right to the Now I'm online, page. essentially, and I can click exactly. and buy it. Go to the e-commerce page, and fulfillment done. And now I come right back to where I was. So now I can move through this. I can Today, use the same the tools in the cooking show to buy. Get in line. Um, the grill going right, so I'm watching a cooking show. I want the recipe. I can actually get the recipe exactly. delivered to me or buy exactly. the guy's cookbook right exactly. then and there. What about from a sort of more informational point of view, where you're not just selling stuff, but I'm trying to get background information well, on the show? For instance, we've done some shows with PBS, with National Geographic, with ESPN, with Discovery, mm -hmm. which are truly interactive television shows. Here's a show from National Geographic and Lightning. Uh, we go and watch the show. Um, what it allows now, do I pay for that? Yeah, you may pay <laughs> 25 cents to watch the show. Mm -hmm. But what it also allows you to do is marry all the graphics of the web and the HTML assets that 
National Geographic. All right, so I'm, wa <coughs> excuse me, I'm watching a show about lightning, and I right. don't understand something. I can actually right. stop the show and say, hey, go on to the web, sort of, and give me some exactly. background. Exactly. So if we're watching the show here, um, at any States. time, we can click on this icon, and now we're into many different assets, uh, web assets on it. I can come over here. I can click and buy the book on weather, National Geographic, but I can always go back. All right, so, so again, in, instead of having the TV over here and the PC over here, and I'm, I'm surfing and I'm watching, they're all now on the same screen at the exactly. same time. Exactly. We think it's all married because, for instance, one of the things we're doing on our website is it's soliciting content made by viewers, yeah. new movies. When we see Blair Witch Project made for $50,000, <laughs> we think there's a whole new well, world. Well, that's what I want to ask you next. I mean, all, the, all these guys are thinking, hey, I can make a Blair Witch now, but right. how do I distribute it? And they say, the Internet. Is this the right. kind of thing you could do also? Right, exactly. Where we want to go is allow them to really get paid by the subscription. So the best movies will come up to our premium service. And, but on our internet site, we'll display a lot of movies, documentaries, short films, long form films. And we think there's So you're kind of doing for movie makers what MP3 is doing for musicians. Exactly, exactly. All right, it's called Entertainer. Pretty cool, thank you. Thanks. Well, you probably mainly use the internet right now to gather information in the form of words, pictures, maybe audio. But the net is becoming a TV net, with more and more television-style content available in your browser. One of the leading companies in this new web space is Pseudo Programs. They're a television-style network delivering programming to your PC via a phone line. And this is Mame McCutcheon of the Pseudo Online Network. Mame, what kinds of programs do you have on your Pseudo Network? We have uh, a lot of things that you would find in traditional broadcasts, but the content that we deliver is, goes a little bit deeper. We provide a little bit more information, so music, Space exploration. This is sort of niche, niche. Niche, niche. Yeah. Okay. For example, you said space exploration. What kind of space show would you do that I might not get on, on normal television? We do a live show from Houston every week. Really? And we, and we and we interview the heroes of space exploration, the men and women who make it possible, uh -huh. and not just the astronauts you would get on Discovery or National Geographic. We talk to flight surgeons. We talk. So to you can go down a little bit deeper yeah. than big television can afford to do. And it's live with chat, so people can ask questions. Can you show us what a TV show would look like, first of all, and then I'll ask you to show us how people would interact with it. Here's the Space Watch page. There's three shows. Uh, one's a magazine, and then uh, one here's this live one that we do every Tuesday across the street from the So again, this is real player, web-based, web -based. the thing we're used to. Narrow band. But I can just access. call up one of your TV shows, watch it live, or archive. archive. Yeah, okay. on demand. As soon as they're, they air live, then they're available in the archive. And would these definitely. be like 30? Would these be 30 minute shows or? This one's an hour. Oh, it's an hour a normal interview. hour show, uh -huh. okay. Um, one thing we like to do with some of our shows is provide people access to the segments that they want to see. You don't have to watch the whole hour. So okay, so you have a little them. menu like you might on a DVD or something, say, hey, I just want to watch the segment on X and pull, pull, go right to that. Pull it out. What, what about the, so there's a little TV show which I'm watching in my, in my window here, but you said there's a chat room so I can actually talk to right. other people who are watching the show at the same time? So if we, if we want to, we can Hi everybody, we can welcome this. to Mission Control we Overture. I'm live with Ned Castro on the uh -huh. Space Watch Drag it over here. Where we introduce and you to the heroes get after the So again, you're bringing the TV experience and the interactive internet experience into the same place at the same time. You can be time. passive and watch it on demand, or you can show up yeah. when it airs live and get involved. If it's live, can I actually talk to the host and do yes. that kind of thing? Yes. So I can ask a question of the host, and he can Wait, answer my question. We have a chat jockey um, that they'll show up uh -huh. in a second. And what she does is she sits in the chat room, and she fields questions. She chats. She lets people know what's going on. And then every now and then the host right. will stop, turn to the chat jockey. All right, what other kinds of shows could I watch? Uh, you have something, I guess, on video games and, and PC, PC gamers gaming. and all that stuff. Huge, yeah, yeah huge audience there. Um, so here we have uh, the All Games Network, where we go over uh, shooter games and hardware. Uh -huh. So this is of, one show a week, or, or sort of a mini network that's all about gaming? It's a mini network. Okay, There's so you have lots of shows. One of the on shows is daily, an hour oh, okay. every day. Yeah, that's game time. Uh, and that has a, features an, an interactive. So this is how to beat short. games and what the coolest new things are. How to get to a certain level of right. a game. What's coming down the pike? How do I make my machine perform better? Where do I find other people like me to play this game? All what's right. coming from E3? <laughs> All right. So this is your game show. What's it called? This is Game Time. Okay. And this is on the AGN network, All Game Network. And we're going to jump into the programming a little bit. Um, and you can see that they're doing an interview here. Um, like I said, we cover E3 and different things that go on in the industry that aren't covered by traditional broadcast. Yeah. And there's a lot of people that want to know. Now, animation is cool, obviously, because it's a little bit easier than do than, than, than live human beings. And you have, a, I think, a game show, sort of a trivia show? Live, inter I think it's the only live, <laughs> interactive, animated game show. Put them all together? It's, yeah. It's, all right, uh, it's, it's called wild. Thunk, right? It's called Thunk. All right, see if you can pull that one up for us. Let me get that. 
And again, this would be live sometime, you know, 8 o'clock when Susie or whatever it is, or I can watch it anytime I want? You can watch it anytime you want. If you want to play, if you want to participate, you want to win, you want to win the prizes, you have to watch it live. Okay, but so this is truly an it. interactive it's quiz live. show in which I can actually guess the answers while I'm watching at home? You can guess the answers. You can win fun prizes. Okay. So what are these little characters we're seeing? All of these little here? characters are part of the show, and they have different little Timmy right here. He describes a movie, and if you guess what movie it is, you win whatever the prize is that week. Okay. Some popcorn could be pizza. Could be a spare tire. You know so again, that. this is this is real TV. Only I am part of it. Now I, I, I imagine there's some capacity limit to how many people can be playing at the same time. Um, I'm sure there is. We haven't reached it. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's something we hopefully would, you we, will. That would be a real problem, I think. You know, All right, so this is the a, intro to the show. Yes, and you can see it's got a very campy, um, cartoony feel, down to the, the visuals and the sound. And Welcome to. Just and again, the, the animation paper. really, you know, solves some of the problem, the yeah. bandwidth issues you're dealing Because I could be watching this on a 56K, right? I don't need the broadband. You can watch this on 28.8. Yeah. It, it will work oh, pretty yeah. well. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. yeah, the sound's good. We use the G2 player. Um, we'll use any player that people are using at home. We're not married to any technology. Yeah. Now, now, what's the URL for your service? Sudo.com. It's sudo.com. <laughs> and what other kinds of shows? Yeah, we don't time uh, to show all of them, obviously, but what other categories? Music is very popular, obviously. It's a, a, you know, on demand everywhere around right. the web. So we have a lot of music channels. We also have some lifestyle channels. We have business and technology. We're we like 40 or something show. programs all together? Yeah, over 200 hours Your of Your television network on the month. web. We are. All right, thanks a lot, man. Well, some of us have been watching TV in a window on our PC for a while using one of the many TV receiver cards that are out there, but we're really just borrowing the computer's monitor and using it as a television monitor. Now, MGI has come out with a software suite called Pure Diva that really does turn your PC into a full-functioned video entertainment center. This is Shelley Sofer of MGI. How you doing? Hi, Steve. So it looks like we're watching TV here mm -hmm. on the PC. This is uh, some CBS uh, soap opera or something. But what's going on underneath there? What can well, I do with this? I'll bring back the uh, interface. And what actually is going on is that we're taking that TV signal, bringing it into, into the computer, uh, and using the special instructions Ooh, on the Penny and Tree, giving you capabilities I, I that so that you that can, far. for example, or pause. Is, is so for hardware, I need a Pentium 3. Yes. And I take a, a big hard drive. Big hard drive. Right. Because you are doing what now with the hard drive and the video? Well, the signal's coming in. It is now being uh, written to the hard drive. Uh, we put a slight delay on it. And in this case, uh, I've paused the live broadcast, and then we'll send it back up. Through All right. So I, when I said we're watching live TV, sort of. I was watching the buffering of live TV as That's recorded right. and played back on the hard drive on the PC. That's right. All right. So what can I do? Well, with I've, that. I've paused the broadcast. I'm about uh, half a minute behind it now. Are so make clear, you paused television? live television. Yeah, That's you right. Okay, because it wasn't live, it was on the hard drive, but it was almost live. Almost live. It's take more All right. Than wishful thinking. Uh, and then you can just I resume like from where you stopped. That's right. More than you do. Um, the other things that you can do, case, for example, is uh, if you pause it, you can also zoom in. Mm -hmm. So if you're watching, for example, a sporting event and uh, you want to see if the uh, player stepped on the line and was out of bounds, then you can so go back. So freeze it when you want, zoom in when you want, right. you're, you're kind of in charge. All right, so what else could I do with, with live TV? Can I, can I rewind, essentially, and watch something yes. back a couple of minutes ago? Yes. Um, we have a buffer that is variable. You set and that. And we see a little timer there that's showing us how far back you're going. And then if I want to go to that point, Whoa, I can just hit play. Okay. I, I can I... Can I bookmark hey, I really like that one sequence yes. uh, and I want to be able to go back and see that later right you just click this little button here it creates a bookmark and you have a number of bookmarks that you can create mm -hmm. virtually unlimited so I can bookmark a scene I can continue to watch live somebody comes in and says hey let me show you the scene it was just on here five minutes ago exactly. and, and I can just instantly recall that video bookmark just hit the uh, back button here and it'll go right back to that point Okay, and this is just all happening on the PC. I'm not all buying any, any extra boxes here. This is software that's embedded That's right. It, PC. it makes use of the Pentium 3 computer instructions, yeah. the new instructions. All right, now I see a, little, a bunch of other icons. This is live TV. What, what else can I do with, with the software? Um, well, of course, you have digital VCR capability so that you can go and record shows. Um, we pick up the electronic the program guide or your TV fires. guide through the internet. Okay, so this is, this is actually, we're playing back a show you that's recorded right. earlier that's resident on my hard drive. That's right. So uh, we recorded uh, Martha Stewart. Yeah, where, where's that program guide information that we're describing? Okay. Which are primarily sound. 
Okay. And, uh, so this is sort of your your catalog of what you've recorded, what's sitting on the PC. Right. 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 And when you you have odd tapes, Pee Wee Herman and Martha Stewart. This one's a really <laughs> That's all right. Turn. You can see what okay. And uh, when you record something, it keeps that uh, program information along right. with it, uh, so you know which episode is what show you're recording. Okay. How much space do I need? I want to record a half-hour show. What kind of hard drive do I need on this? Uh, we take about three gigs an hour, so a gig and a half for your half-hour show. Okay. Uh, all right, so I've got a digital VCR. I can play around with the live TV. Now you have a DVD button, so I assume there's a DVD player in here. That's right. All of these uh, computers are going to come with DVD drives, so of course you want to watch DVD movies. Uh, and the advantage uh, of watching here, I'll just bring up the navigation, mm -hmm. jump to a scene. And, uh, let me just so we'll watch this is the movie here. eraser. The movie Eraser, yeah. and that's uh, Arnold uh, falling out of the uh, sky there. So you've done a pause. I'm going to have to uh, pause in just a second here. Okay. And uh, as we can see, and you can zoom into that zoom still. Zoom in, pan into that, and you could see that is a stunt double. Not really Arnold. <laughs> Not really. And only Arnold. you know because you have the <laughs> software. All right, so you can uh, have a regular DVD player, but do lots of tricks with it. And then I guess that's an audio CD controller at the bottom. That's there? right. Uh, for audio music. A lot of entertainment components are coming onto the PC and we're taking advantage of that. Now, how do I get this? This is not a, a shrink wrap piece of software, right? N not today. Uh, it's going to be bundled on Pentium 3 computers uh, coming to stores this Christmas. Uh, we've confirmed that it's going to be uh, for sure on uh, systems in Europe and the United Kingdom as well as a Japanese okay. manufacturer. So if I want this, I should look for a PC that says it comes with Pure Diva. Pure Diva. And that means I've got all these TV tape results. That's right. Cool. Thank you, Shelley. Thank you, Stuart. All right. Well, bottom line is television's about advertising. That's why we get to watch programs and movies and football games for free. But TV advertising has always been a somewhat imperfect tool. You've got to remember the commercial and then remember to go buy the product. That has been the power of the Internet. Of course, in e-commerce, you buy it right there online. Well, bringing these two notions together is the goal of a company called Liberate. This is David Limp of Liberate Technologies. All right, now what do we have here? We've been watching sort of, I guess, TV going into the PC. Now we have like PC internet elements coming into the TV. Yeah, Liberate's all about making enhanced television happen, which is you have lots of things connected to your TV today. Why not bring the best of what is the internet to the television? Okay. So I'm watching TV here. I'm not on a PC. That's correct. And this is a television set. We have a live picture again. I'm watching, I think, the same soap Sorry. opera <laughs> of CBS we were watching before. Jack. And this, and what is the box God, underneath this? Is this just some sort of set top box? Yeah, it's a set top box like you would get from your cable company, Direct TV, a what replay, a TiVo box. And our software literally is downloaded to those boxes to give this kind of, uh, this kind of functionality. Okay. Now, again, your Liberate software is not something you're selling me. You're selling it to the TV programmers and the guys who are delivering programs. Absolutely. Cable companies, satellite companies, telcos. Got those it. Now, what is the added value I get as a viewer Gosh. watching your liberated TV? Absolutely. Well, let me give you some examples of that. Um, the first one, I'll Sorry. just tune to a little different oh, channel I'm here that's running a PBS oh, show. So we're watching a cooking show. Exactly. So we're just watching TV right now. Absolutely. And inside of the broadcast oh, signal, you see some interactivity. Now, where'd that come from? That came I mean, from the broadcast signal you. using the standards of the stuff. Internet. Okay. okay. So right the broadcaster popped in that little window and says, hey, you want to take a look at the recipe that he's Absolutely. doing? Absolutely. And then the consumer, using a remote control, can then go ahead and uh, click on different things. So let's say I want to get the recipe Ann's working on. Now I have the recipe on the screen and can look at that. Uh, and the, the interesting thing you said about leveraging the Internet, we can move the point of purchase to the point of the programming. So you see I brought up here some of the links to the Internet. Now you're doing this yourself again. It's not the guy on the TV is doing it right now. You said, I want to see more. Absolutely, completely with the remote control. And now you can say, hey, I in fact want to go to Amazon and buy this guy's cookbook. And I just clicked it. And so I want this cookbook. We link off to Amazon.com using the traditional, you don't need a separate cable The TV in your show house. is still going on there. Up in the upper corner. But now we're on the web. Absolutely. And our technology takes existing web content and makes it look great on the TV that you have today. And we use the pipe that's already coming into your home. So it could be the existing cable or the satellite. So whatever it is. All right. So again, I'm not telephone line here. I'm not computer. I'm watching TV, but I can get right onto the net, do a transaction, and go right back to the TV show? That's exactly right. So if I want to get back to the TV show, one click, and I'm there. So it's very easy to move back and forth. And that's what it's about, which is enhancing the television broadcast, not replacing it with the Internet. All right. So let's do another example. Now, say I'm watching a live TV show. What other kinds of ways can I personalize my experience if I'm using your software? Sure. One of the one of the big things that you get with the internet that is tough on television because it's a broadcast mechanism is the idea of getting personalized data down. I often use the concept of uh, a financial channel, CNN, mm -hmm. FN, or CNBC, 
where you want to get the quotes that you care about as opposed to the right, ones. So normally you're saying all that junk going across the bottom, yeah, you have to wait there for 20 minutes to see the one you care about. And none of it do I know what it means right. half the time. So by using an application we call TV Picker here, we get an overlay on top of the broadcast signal, and it's the quotes that you care about as a consumer. And then with one click, you can trade those stocks or find more information about those stocks all if right, you so wish. All right, so there's an AOL, an Oracle, Absolutely. whatever. And now where is this data coming from? Is this sitting hid hidden inside the TV signal? Yes, it can either be inside the br TV signal in the VBI and analog TV or the MPEG stream and digital mm -hmm. TV, which is coming right. out. Or it can be coming over the Internet. We don't really care, and we can consolidate both of those together. Okay, so again, you're adding Internet capability while I'm watching TV. Absolutely. The other way. Are, what, are, what other kinds of things could I do Internet style while I'm watching TV? Right. One of the things that's clear about the Internet is it really boosted the ability for communications amongst mm -hmm. uh, individuals. So being able to offer an email application on your television set opens up this to a broader range of people that may not have PCs or want to do a little bit different types of email. So we've loaded the email application here, again on television, and just like everything else, at the same time that I'm watching television, we can scale that in a window, we can mm -hmm. read and write our emails. And we've added an extra little feature to this, which is the ability while you're composing an email message, that you can come down here and actually add attachments. Could I actually grab a clip of video, a clip of video and say, hey, watch this cool thing I just saw on TV, Absolutely. and send it to somebody as an email attachment? That's exactly right. So yeah. especially if you have got it on a VCR and you went out on the weekend and got pictures of your kids, or you right. have a Wii Play box and you got a great, great mm -hmm. picture off of a football game and you want to send it to a friend, all you do is one click, take that picture, it adds it as a standard internet enclosure so that it, anybody with a TV or, or a PC can no, I need a, Do I need a kind of ISP here, or am I doing this through my television yes. service provider, or what? Anybody that's giving you TV service will offer Liberate functionality. So if you have, uh, like, AOL TV, that's uh -huh. one of our customers, Comcast, Cox, So Media I One. might be, you know, my email address might be Stuart at Comcast TV or Absolutely. whatever. Absolutely, and yeah. that would be the way you would get your All right, mail. last thing real quick. It, it feels a little bit like web TV. What is the difference between what you're doing and going out and buying a web TV box? Yeah, the last part of that, which is you don't have to go out and buy a separate box here. What happens is that the box that you get essentially for free from your cable company or your direct TV box or uh, from AOL will have our software already in it. So the cons consumer doesn't have to buy anything so from So you're Liberate. just building it inside the existing Absolutely. television service. Exactly, and that'll just come, come whenever you gotcha. get your TV service. David, thank you very much. Thanks, Stuart. All right, that's our look at the marriage of television and the PC. I'll be back in just a moment with my pick of the week. Don't miss it. Now for my pick of the week. I want to show you a totally new kind of appliance that is the epitome of TV PC convergence. Some are calling these PVRs, personal video recorders, HDRs, hard disk recorders, or DVRs, digital video recorders, whatever you call it, this is one of them right here. It is called the Replay, actually the company calls this a PTS, a personal television server, which is exactly what it is. This is a server designed specifically to receive, store, and play back television programs. It will totally change the way you watch TV. Here's how it works. The Replay has several big hard drives which can store hours of television programs. It also has a database of all the TV programs available to you, specifically you. It does two important things. It automatically records everything you're watching onto its hard drive. That means you can do unbelievable things like pause live TV, do your own instant replays even if the network didn't show you one. You can resume watching a TV program after you've paused it and pick up right where you left off. You can rewind live TV. And if you're watching a recording off a hard drive, you can automatically and instantly skip a commercial by pressing one button. This takes a little getting used to because at first it seems like a magic trick, like a time machine. You can do things with television you never thought you could do before. You are now in control. Which leads me to the second important thing the replay does. It maintains a current database of all TV programs, and it lets you sort television shows the way you sort text records. The replay updates its programming database every night. It then lets you search for programs you like by program title or genre. Bottom line is you create your own television channels. Let's say I like baseball and ESPN is too broad for me. I simply program the replay to automatically find and record every TV show having to do with baseball. Then when I come home at night, I tune in to Stewart's baseball channel. You can even sort movies by actor or actress. You could have your own Julia Roberts channel, for example. This is a revolutionary information entertainment appliance. The setup is a delight, more like connecting a refrigerator than a PC. Base price is $699. You can find out more about it at ReplayTV.com.
That's it for this edition of The Chronicles. Thanks for joining us. Please join me in my weekly radio show. Just go to the talk radio link at about.com. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you here next time. The Computer Chronicles is brought to you by rondiamond.com, the oldies site on the internet. Music and memories from the 50s, 60s, and 70s, not just another jukebox. Additional support comes from the law offices of Ivan Hoffman, lawyering with integrity for internet law, copyright, trademark, and other intellectual property law. And by TechWeb for up-to-the-minute technology news. To purchase a videotape copy of today's program, call toll-free 1-888-310-7850. Please specify the show number and the topic.